Hey everybody, it's Mindy and I've got a package and um, it came like this. <laughs> yep, it was in my mailbox this way. And I was like, uh, okay, well, I think everything's in it. So let's get it out. Yeah, I can't believe it's just wide open. I'm like, all right, okay. So this is a company that I'd never heard of and they asked if I wanted to show a couple things and I said, sure. I have seen somebody else unbox them and I kind of knew what was going to happen by watching their unboxing. Anyhow, we'll get into it. Okay, this is Art Painting World. And I ordered a couple paintings and I ordered this, which is clearly not a painting. So it comes with a card. Dear customer, good day. Thank you for your support. Art Painting World. Diamond paintings, cross stitch, blanket, number paintings, other home decoration products. There you go. So thank you. Okay. You could register to be an affiliate with them if you would like, but no. And then there's, um, there's that, whatever that is. Okay. QR codes. I don't know. Okay. Anyhow, that's their card. So here's the first thing I thought I would try. Um, I'm constantly looking for different framing type ideas and that's what this is. It's a frame. All right. So let's look at it. If I can get this tape off here. Watch me shank myself with my knife. <laughs> I don't want to do that. This stuff tears pretty easily. So this, I believe, is like a what we would call a stretcher bar type frame. And I know that some people use these. I know they can get really large ones if you want to do a large painting. I have not tried a stretcher bar frame yet. Um, but let's look at it. Got some more pieces in here. More pieces, pieces and parts. Okay, I think that's empty. Okay, so let's see if we can make some sense of this. We got these pieces here. I think those are probably corners, go in the corners. I don't even know what size this is, honestly. Um, here's your directions, how you do it. I just watched a video on this. Make ready, one painting, two frame, three cardboard, four, you nail. <laughs> There you go, you nail it. So this goes on top of your painting. You see how he does it here. The painting's laying here and you put the, the pieces of wood on top and then there's like adhesive that adheses down to it. So if you've got a painting, and I don't have a painting to show you this, but if you have a painting, you go like this, you go like this, you go like this, and you go like this, right? So this is about the size of this whatever this is. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it. And then this um, hooks down onto the painting. You take this off and it sticks. It sticks on there, right? And then you fold them. You got to cut the edges. You got to cut these corners off your painting. So you cut the corners out of your painting. And once you have this stuck on there, then you just roll it up like this. You roll it up. I think like that. Yeah. And then your painting is here. Roll this one up like that. See, and then you roll this one up and your painting is stuck to the edges just like that. Roll them up, curl them up. There you go. Your painting is now adhesed to the outside of the frame, stretched over and adhesed to the outside, right? Then you've got these little pieces that go in the corners. These get stuck in the corners like this. That's what the little grooves are for. They go, no, they gotta go this way. They go in the little grooves like this. Sure they do. Now they go like this. Ah, they go like this. Okay, so those go in here. Make your corners. And then this is stretched. Your painting is stretched over it. And this is hanging device for your wall. So it's pretty simple to use. I think the trickiest part is getting the painting like cut down to the correct size, whatnot. But I think if you just put it on the edges, you're good. And then you just roll it and you're good. But that's how that works. That's a stretcher frame. Stretcher bars, stretcher bar frame. You can get them in different sizes. What size would this one turn out to be? Let's see. I don't even know. I don't think it's set on the package or anything. So um, if we're going centimeters, um, 
this is 50 so if you go like your painting is going to be over here this could be the edge of your painting but then you'd see the canvas you could always paint the edge it all depends on how you want to do it if you wanted all canvas all drills to go all the way over then you would just place it on the drill part you know when you stick it down it's up to you how you want to do it i guess but this accommodates this way almost a 50 centimeter by a 40 centimeter. So that's like a 50 by 40. All right. So that's what I got. I thought I would try one. Why not? Um, and I know you can get these large for some of the large paintings would be a good idea. I guess I haven't tried it. I don't know. Let me know if you have tried these stretcher bar type framing. Um, I don't have a painting this size right now to even try it on, one that I have finished. My paintings have all gotten larger. All right, so let me know what you think. I picked out a couple of paintings um, that I thought were really beautiful, beautiful paintings. Um, and then, like I said, I did watch somebody recently unbox them, unpackage them, and discovered that their paintings have guide circles, which I am not a fan of. So let's look at it and see what we think about it. I, I know that there are people out there who like guide circles. I am not one of them. I'm not a fan. Okay. So here is our toolkit. We've got a selection of multi-placers in there. There's a larger one, a three-placer, wax, a tray. And it comes with a single-placer, some baggies. So that's our toolkit. All right. Um, it comes with pre-bagged drills, which you know me, I love that. I will always take pre-bagged drills. Look at the pretty colors. It looks like there's an inventory sheet in there. We'll look at that in a minute. So the canvas is nice. It's a fairly pliable, nice canvas. But as we look at the drill field, there they are, guys. There's the guide circles. So if you don't know what guide circles are, they are those black circles around each of the symbols which can be hard to cover up, especially if you have light colored drills. So if you have light colors you're putting on here, you have got to have those drills on those circles like perfectly so that they don't show. This is a round, so they could show through the drills and you might see them. Um, so that's why I'm not a fan of the guide circles. Just saying. If they got rid of guide circles, I think we'd be much happier. So since it's around and it's just printed on colored, you know, background, this looks a little dull. Now I will say it's not going to look this dull when it's completed because when you put the drills on, everything just gets brighter. Um, it's, it is a pastel, so it's not going to get super bright, but it will bit, you know, it will show up better than what it does here. Round drill canvases tend to look a little faded out until you put the drills on them, if that makes sense. I see that it's a 40 by 40. I think we'll measure it. See if it's actually 40 by 40 or if that's the full canvas. Let's see what we get. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. It's 40. It is 40, you guys. So that is the actual drill field is 40 by 40. We have two legends. No, we don't. We have one legend. That is just a picture of painting. We have one legend over here with our color list and the picture, and I'll show you the inventory sheet in a minute. 27 colors, numbers, and letters. I do wish they would eliminate guide circles. This is going to have a light background, and the possibility of those showing up is high. <laughs> so let's see what we have. I'm not 100% certain, but I think you could choose sizes, possibly. Here is our inventory sheet, which I can copy and make stickers. All right, so number on the canvas, the symbol, the color number, how many, a bag of 500, apparently. Um, and there's the picture. So it's just a pretty flower, butterflies, a light blue type of background. I mean, it looked really pretty. I liked it. Okay. 
So here's our drills. And as you see, they come in bags, which I love. And they have the DMC number on them. So there you go. That's how their drills come. The drills look great. If you look at the drills, they look, they look wonderful. They really do look good. And like I said, it's just a lot of pastel colors. Look at tans, beiges, greens. Nothing's going to be super bright. Okay. Nice pastel colors. I think they might have been in order by number. Yep. <laughs> They're getting higher and higher here. Um, here's that blue, which I think is going to be a lot of the blue background is this big bag here. All right. Lots of blues, pastel colors. Okay. So that's what we have. Let's see. Can I put them back in here the right way? I don't know. Let's see. This might be close. I don't know. <laughs> is that the way I took them out, you guys? <laughs> oh boy. Well, you're out of, you're out of order for sure. Anyhow. We're close. We're close. Okay. So that's the first painting I got. I think it's really pretty. Um, a little concerned about the, the guide circle showing up on the light background. But, you know, if you're really, really careful, really, really careful, <laughs> hopefully the drills will cover most of it up. All right. The next one. Oh, toolkits in the bag. Sorry. And now it's stuck. I'm just going to leave the toolkit in the bag. Same toolkit. It's in there. All right. Okay. What's this one? Let's see. This one says it's a 40 by 50. I do love the canvas. The canvas is very pliable. It's a softer canvas. It's not the thick, really stiff oil canvas. I like the canvas. All right. Again, pre bag drills. I'm not going to measure this one because we measured the last one. So we can assume, I think, that this one will be true to size. All right. There we go. White lettering, dark lettering. I do like that. That we have some white lettering on dark symbols. I like that. Okay. Here's what the drill field looks like. All right. Got a good look. A pretty good look. Okay. Again, it's a floral, just flowers. I call them poppies. I believe they're poppies. 28 colors, our legend over here, same type of deal as we had last time. There's the poppies. I'll show you the inventory sheet too. But I mean, they're very nice. I like everything about this. Everything about this is clicking all the boxes except the guide circles. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, if you weigh it all out on a scale of one to a hundred, we're at, you know, 80. Yeah, you know. Okay, come on. Where's the sticky part? All right. They're nicely bagged. I, I give it that. Like I said, there's a lot of good here. There is a lot of good. Here's our picture. Again, very light, light, airy, watercolory type image is what I went for. And the same type of inventory sheet, 28 colors. Okay. All right. I don't know. Should we take them all out or should we just do a perusal this way? Let's do a perusal. Off white minty color, tan, browns, pink, rust, blue, green, more pink, gray, magenta. We got a magenta. Another rust, green, beige, grays, oranges, orangey reds, pinky, kind of purpley, purpley, pinky. Anyhow. There's colors. I think they're pretty. I think it's a very pretty image. I think both of them are very lovely images. I think they're very beautiful. I, I, there's a lot of good going on here. I don't have the prices with me right now. I will link them below. I don't think the prices were too bad. I think they're a pretty decent price. They have a good price point. Um, so 
it is what it is. This is what you get. I think they're very lovely paintings. I think as a company, as a whole, they're doing a nice job. You know, one little thing we could work on. And I'll just, I'll probably email them and just ask them if there's a way that they can, you know, think about in the future eliminating those. See what they say. All you can do is ask, right? And if you're a person who likes them, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I know some people do. But anyhow, that's what I got, you guys. And it'll be interesting to try out the frame. I could actually try out the frame on this picture, right? Because it is a 40 by 50. So, I mean, you see tack the frame down here like this you put it right on the edge right you get it uh-huh I, I think you do it on the back side though now that i'm thinking of it put this on the back and then you roll it and you roll it up no i don't know i think let's put our little paper here yeah you do it on the back you put it on the back side and then you roll them up and you fold it up. That's how you do it. Hey, okay, yeah, see, you put them on the back like this and then you roll these in like this. And then you get, you know, if you put it on the edge, you'll get this white canvas on the edge, but you can paint that or whatever you want to do, you know. If you wanted to cut it off, you could cut it off. And then you could roll the drills up and have the drills on the edge if you wanted to. You cannot see a thing I'm doing. Like if you put it here and roll it up, you'll get the white. You'll get the white edge of the canvas, right? Which you could paint. You're gonna have to do something because you don't want that showing. Or if you moved it in a little bit and you put it on the drills and you roll it up with the drills, then you would have drills on your edge here. You know, and that would be wrapped all the way around like that. So it's totally up to you how you would like to do it. But I don't think, I don't know if it would even work that way if you moved it in. Anyhow, something to play with later. You get the general idea, okay? All right, I'm done now. I'm going to stop talking. I think I've <laughs> taken up enough of your time. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching, everybody. And um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've used stretcher bars. Um that kind of thing. I think I got it right now. You put them on the back and you roll them up. I didn't find the little clips like this to put in the corners. Normally they have these little clips. Oh yes, they're in here. I lie. Look at me. There they are. They're like a big staple. You put them in the corner to secure your corners. Yep. Oh look, they suggest taping it down before you roll them up. Look at that. That's probably a good idea, isn't it? Probably a great idea. Keeps it in place where you want it to be. All right. Okay. I'm done. Thanks for watching. And um, check out the links below. And I'll be back with another video tomorrow. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I will talk to you real soon. Bye, everybody.